Super Smashing Great. It's that time again. It's the Irish Greyhound Weekly Preview Show. With me, Mick Livesey, and of course, Daniel Monk. Before we get into this week's action, we would both like to say a big congratulations to PJ and Conor Fire and Tyra McGuigan on winning this year's 2010 Labrooks.com Irish Greyhound Derby. And we both hope the celebrations are still going strong in Glenamardy after such a great success for the Tyra Kennel. And it was great to see someone who's put so much into the game get a little bit back as a reward for all his hard work and effort he's put in. So from me and Daniel, massive congratulations and a big thumbs up. Well done to all concerned. So folks, it's time for us to get down to action with this week's preview show. And for all you that may be thinking that we were out of action this week with the derby finished, we're not, and we've got an action-packed show for you this week, which features, of course, the six-pack, but also we have Dan and Mick's special upcoming events board, which is where we will be highlighting all the upcoming big events around the country over the next few weeks. But more about that later, and let's get down to the action with the Arrows Cross, Track Bookmakers, Puppy Derby, which always throws up some great grounds, and the proof of that was on shore last Saturday night with Tullamore Act taking his place in the Derby final. Eat one gets us underway and we will give the early nod to Orvex Phil who looks like the likely favourite in this heat. With no weak winner in sight he will see main opposition from Melody's Royal and Kilmalari Ondo but looks to just have enough to work with. Eat 2 sees the impressive Mountjoy Rock in action and should see his main opposition from Blom Ross and Jaguar Nathan but Mountjoy should be the one to watch off his first round form. Her force Ellie will be the leading main charge in Heat 3 and looks like a leading lady for this year's event. What a tornado and me Rambo will be the likely dangers in this heat. Heat 4, an interestingly bred Carl's patron, will hope to draw on his sires, Bombers going home, super arrows cross form in this heat and will look to overturn his first round defeat to Slick Legend and in this heat with Asiola also providing a challenge. Eat 5, and this looks a real super race for the puppies, with the likes of Orvex Sean and Lawless Joe going into battle in this heat. Orvex was just picked up last week and should be all the better for his run from last week. This lad looks a real star to watch over the coming year. Lawless Joe is in top form for the John McGee kennel and drawn on the rails would be a likely favourite for this heat. Springwood Oak will also be a danger on his opening round form. Eat 6, and the third of the Orvex team is in action and this time it's fantasy. Winner of his heat last week in 28.95 and by a massive ten and a half lengths. This lad will take Holden again this week. His main danger may come from Fast Vic Tiger who will be looking to avoid trouble this time around and from the fast moving Dream Walker who will be looking to show his bounce back ability from last week's defeat. Heat 7 sees the flying finisher power spin in action and will no doubt want to put his opponents into a spin in this heat. Bling Bling Buzz will be his main danger and trainer Owen McKenna will no doubt hope that his two runners give each other room to make it into the third round draw. Heat 8 sees a nice battle in store with Paul Ennis' kennel, Air Force Oak and the Brian McCann kennel, Kerradale Law, making the main stage show in this final heat. This looks a real good race on paper. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. So that wraps up the Puppy Derby thus far. That may wrap up the Puppy Derby, but as we all know, there's always something going on in Ireland. And just after we have got over the Derby, we are back in classic action yet again. And it's time for the Pat Hennity Sales Irish Laurels of 2010. As always, the Laurels is one of the country's premier events and has seen some of the country's best walk away with that prestigious Laurels title. This year's event is no exception and has attracted some of the best Ireland has to offer yet again. So let's jump into the action and start with Friday night's eats. Eat 1 is opened by a recent sprint winner in Cork, Guitar Moment, who showed some nice early pace when landing a win in preparation for this year's Laurels. Lasser Extreme will attract lots of local support and should be a leading danger in this heat to Trap 6, but our kid looks a real runner to watch after exploding last week in Tralee to record 28.58 and will require lots and lots of respect. Eat 2 has plenty of quality on show and sees Yes Boss making a step up to the 525. This fella, as we all know, is well known for his sprint exploits and should love the 525 in Cork, but he will face opposition from Fairpoint Dave 
and an interesting runner, Killer Colour Pride, who is making his debut at the highest possible level. E3 sees the American heavyweight Kiara Myth making a return to the laurels and is fresh on the tails of a win over the defending champion. He will see opposition from Gringos Valingo, a winner of his last two in Cork and Burnham Up, who landed himself a Derby Heat win this year. E4 sees the highly talked about Pablo Supreme in action and will be one to watch as many have tipped this fella to break the 28 barrier at Cork following his 28-08 trial. Mellory Blue and Cool Mac will form the main opposition to this one, but Pablo Supreme looks like the leading player and will certainly look to set the people talking on Friday night. If he breaks the 28 barrier, Greyhound Nuts could go mad. Eat 5 sees Broadstone Lad and Belvedere Champ going into battle. Belvedere looks in form following his recent wins in Cork and maybe a leading player, but Broadstone will require lots of respect in a venue he knows very well. Kid Belitzer and Ballymac Mitzi will also require respect in this heat, which looks like many will be happy with anything in the first three. Eat six closes off the action on Friday and sees an open affair on the cards, and Droopy Sastra will just get the nod in this affair and may see his main opposition from Castle Lions Ralph and Romeo Impact. So we now move on to Saturday night, which will wrap up the final heats in this year's first round. Eat 7 gets us underway and Royal Tornado will be looking to make a good start to his Laurels campaign in this heat. But we'll see opposition from Cowboys Creek, Johnny White Sox and Boer Derg who will all want respect in this heat. Eat 8 sees what looks to be a real super affair with Tranquil Time, Dalcash Cordeso both going into this extremely competitive heat. Dangers also appear with the likes of Noel's Kiddo and Sheet Walk Mike in what should be a great heat of racing. Eat 9 sees another classic in the making with the X Factor and Macedo Blue going into battle in this heat. Macedo Blue should be a real danger in the laurels this year with his early pace and he's one to watch on the way to the final. Camelardi Torres will also be one to watch in this heat. Eat 10 and the quality just keeps coming with Tyra Bucco, St. Louis Spirit and Beaming Dilemma all making up the headline acts in this heat. St. Louis seemed to find a return to form recently and will require massive respect in this heat whilst Beaming Dilemma produced a nice trial by and Tyra Bucco will be on fire for the Derby's winning kennel of Connor Fire. Eat 11 sees Thurler's Fresh Milk Tipperary Cup champion Leave You Jet kick off his laurels challenge against Derby second Tyra Big Mike. Big Mike looked brilliant in this year's Derby and ran a great racing defeat to his brother last week and will be one of the best dogs in this year's laurels and one to watch going close to the 28 second barrier. Leave you looked brilliant when winning the Tipperary Cup and looks banging for him following his win last week in Cork. This race should be a must watch on Saturday. E12 sees Tullamore Ike returning to the track following his recent documented kidney problems from last week's Derby final. He will face opposition from Preliminary Corps and Tyra Lucky, but should be a leading player if over his health problems. E13 sees the defending champion back in action, Seven Heads Bay. Was a huge local favourite last year when picking up the winner's prize, and nothing has changed this year. He looks the dog to beat in this heat, but we'll see opposition from Corporate Attack, who is an interesting recruit to this event, and may be worth an each way bet due to his strong finishing kick. Heat 14 finishes off this year's Laurels first round and sees massively fast Tyra Ender back in action following his huge trial of 28 12 last week. Colourful Champ is a dog banging for him after landing the Consolation Derby final last week and will require lots of respect as well as the extremely fast Carib King who is back in action following a small layoff from the Tipperary Cup final. This race looks super and will certainly keep the punters in Curreen Park on Saturday night to the very last race. So that's it for this week's preview and it's time to move on to our new feature which is Dan and Mick's special upcoming events board. Ok a brand new feature it's Dan and Mick's special upcoming events board and in one we have the Arrows Cross Puppy Derby which is currently underway in Arrows Cross. In two we have the Pat Hennessy Sales which gets underway this weekend in Cork. In three we have the Droopy's Kennels Munster Oats, which has reached the semi-final stage and will be previewed here next week. 
In four, we have the upcoming Newbridge Oaks. In five, we have the Thurlers Track Bookmakers Champion Big Stick, which is coming up at Thurlers. In six, we have the Irish Grand National coming up at Harold's Cross. In seven, we have the Ted Egerty Marathon at Harold's Cross. And in eight, it's a Corby Trouser Press. No, it's not. It's the Waterford Masters. And Dan and Mick's special prize is the 2010 St. Ledger at the new Limerick Greyhound Stadium. Well, I hope you like the new feature, and we will try to improve it and get better at it. But now, it's that time of the week. It's time for this week's six-pack. And of course, for all our female fans, it's time to get excited, as me and Dan peel off the tops for this week's six-pack. Tyra Ender to win his heat in the laurels is our nap. Leave you jet to win without Tyra Big Mike, next best. Mercedo Blue to win his heat, that's Mix, sparkling ring pull. Lolo's Joe to win his heat of the Puppy Derby. Pablo Supreme to win his heat on Friday night. Dalcash Cordozo each way in his heat on Saturday night. So that's it, folks, for this week's preview. Best of luck to all of you this week, and we look forward to being back with you next week.